Hello again. If you saw uh, the previous video that we worked on with deluxe reverbs, we're getting smaller and smaller and, s well, the, the amplifiers are, we're not. I'm still huge, yeah. Um, the Princeton reverb, which is probably one of the most recorded amplifiers, or at least this size, this, this uh, wattage, it's low wattage. In this case, we're, we're going to go 10 inch speaker versus 10 inch speaker. Um, and these are uh, a little bit different than what we did with the deluxe reverb video. With the deluxes, we were, we were comparing a 65 blackface reissue printed circuit board amp to a 68 custom deluxe reissue printed circuit board. Today's fun begins with a 65 Princeton blackface reissue versus a custom hand-wired Princeton. <gasps> so why would we do that? Is that cruel to the printed circuit board to put it against a, a, an all-tube hand-wired amp? I don't think so because they're different, probably aimed at different players, obviously slightly different budgets. If you're keeping it in the thousand dollar range you're not even looking at a hand wired amplifier unless you're looking at an old one and I don't care about those because I'm not talking about those today the hand wired amp is going to be for someone who probably has either owned previously old vintage amps and wants something reliable and new that they can have worked on really easily by a tech all the reasons that you buy something from Fender that's you know could be as old as as uh, the an original mid to late 60s I'm going to start on uh, my, and again, I'm using a, a radial switcher to go from A to B to B to A. Uh, I'm going to start on the reissue, the 65, which is the, um, what I consider and call a printed circuit board amp. So let me turn my microphone off here. If you see me switching behind, it's because I'm turning my lav off. I don't want to have this coming through my amazing epic guitar tone SM57 channels going off. Okay, so that's the reissue 65. Um, Clapton Strat has this boost that I can engage. That's why you're hearing me go from clean to dirty. I'm trying to start on clean, but of course I can't do more than one thing at once and turning the microphone thing on makes my head explode. I'm gonna try and start you on the hand wired. I've clicked engage to the hand wired amp. I'm gonna start clean on that. Turn my mic off, check it out. And then I'm going to switch between the two, but I'll show you which I'm doing by, again, raising my hand in the air as if I have a question.
I didn't know how long I was going to have to sustain that before I could turn my mic on. Now, you may be wondering, why is there such a drastic volume difference? I wondered the same thing. So before we started, I wanted to set them equally. I've actually got the hand-wired amp slightly lower than the reissue. Um, that, to me, indicates there's a little, uh, it's almost a little more efficient, um, which is a term you'll hear when you, when you start working with uh, tube amps or, you, the, you'll, or speakers. You'll also hear people refer to a speaker as more efficient. I'm hearing differences. I want to know what you're hearing as a difference. And if you're in the market for a tube amplifier, are you starting, is this the first, uh, your first foray into a tube amp? Uh, coming either from something solid state or coming from a different tube, whether you're a Marshall person or a Vox person um, or a Fender person. This could be the, the starting point for you. You may have already the, the printed circuit board thing covered in your arsenal for tube amps. Maybe a hand-wired amp is what you're after. Um, we're running both of these through SM57s. Again, I'm just running through a really simple radial DI and I'm doing clean and dirty from the Clapton Strat. Uh, let us know what you think. Put some comments in the comment section. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm going to learn how to say that properly because apparently you have to say that all the time or people don't. So please do and go on our Instagram, go on our Facebook. Tell us your thoughts on these amps and anything that we carry. You can see everything at the website. It's artisanguitars.com. Thank you very much for watching. Um, and if anybody can uh, tell me which tune I was trying to pull off on this guitar played by that particular person, um, you, you get a point. But it's a specific version, so let me know. Very good to see all of you again. Goodbye, neighbor.